Hello everybody, this is Intake, the weekly vlog that's going to take you behind the scenes of The Digital Nest, our projects, our process, and our passion. This week we have a real good episode for you guys. We take a field trip to San Jose, California to eBay's headquarters to go see a presentation by former Telemundo president Nelly Galan. When I was four years old, I was staying over at my grandparents' house in San Jose, California. And on their couch, they had these pillows that were embezzled with these little golden, not golden, but like these clear jewel-like plastic things, like little, like little tiny jewels of plastic. I remember grabbing them, uh, grabbing one and running up to my grandma and grandpa and yelling, we're rich, we're rich, do you have any idea what these are worth? Because I thought the little crystals at the end of the, at the end of the pillows, they were real. And I said, we have to sell them, we're gonna make so much money. And they said like, wh wh where are we gonna sell them? I said, eBay. So we're gonna go to eBay today to, uh, to an event that they're holding. It's their kind of like Latino, Hispanic cultural event that they're having. Uh, they're gonna have a keynote speaker and we're gonna make couple cool connections with uh, some Latinos in tech. I hopefully will see a lot of like employees from eBay that are Latino, but it'd be great to see other like community college students that are interested in technology that don't have access to a place like the best. You know, these events from all the technology companies that we've gone to, I think this is like new and it's not, uh, it's, it's very exclusive, right? So before only the employees, but now people that aren't part of the company are able to go. And just see and knowing that tech, technology companies are kind of shifting and they're allowing us to be part of it. Hopefully it'll inspire me and, and make me kind of realize that I can achieve more and do more, you know? Because at, at this company, at this event, I hope to see at least you know, thousands of people, hundreds of people, right? And even if we just see 100 people, that's 50, 60 more people that work with us, you know? And knowing that if I was able to bring more people on, what are the things that we can actually achieve, you know? Like right now, we achieve so much, we're so little, and if we brought in like five more people, all the different things that we can do. My magical moment, if I was being real right now, is that I speak to someone there, uh, either a recruiter or even someone, a director of eBay, and they say, you know what, uh, I'm interested in you and I want you to come and work here. That'd be ideal. Or I start dancing South Star Machata with someone there, that'd be great. I feel very welcome. Even their parking space is welcoming. It says I'm a future employee. I want to see what other Latinos are doing here and whether they even care about being Latino in a tech place, you know? Yeah. Like maybe to them it's not that big of a deal. They're just like, hey, we're techies and we're trying to do cool things and we shouldn't be labeled as just being Latino. Um, I'm super excited to be here and this place is really cool and shiny and it's like really innovative and I'm just really excited to be here. So I just got the DJ to play Cabello Dorado for us. thing to be able to say, feel, and accomplish for a woman. I am not alone. There are millions of women around the world becoming financially self-reliant through entrepreneurship. To become self-made is an honor and a new definer for women. Because there is no true empowerment until you are financially self-reliant. 
until you have your own life. She was like, you know, be active, be, go, go out there, do something. Like, don't, don't be waiting for, for someone to take care of you. And I, I always think that way, but sometimes, you know, everyone gets complacent. Um, Gus always, like, just, like, he, I, I think of complacency what? and I think Gus. <laughs> but, you know, like, I get complacent. You find something that you like and you get into a routine and you're like, hey, I'm doing pretty well. And before you know it, you've been doing the same thing for oh, wow. too long. And then all those big dreams that uh, become, you know, world-changing events and world-changing ideas just don't get done. And why? Because, you know, you just, you, you thought you were in a good place when really, you know, none of us are. Um, I, I like how she kept pushing for a thick skin in a sense. Uh, she wasn't really uh, trying to baby anyone. Uh, she believes that, you know, that you do have to kind of kind of be a character, I guess, kind of have some thick skin when you're going on against the world, because the world is tough in a sense, yeah. Uh, I like that. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow us on all social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, bye-bye.